Chapter 271, E Yun Score Master, the two disciples looked at one another with odd expressions. These test transcripts, were they done by cultivators from Tai A Divine City? Of course. Yue Hua was curious, is there a problem? Yue Hua's answer made the two disciples speechless, Master, I think it is best that you look at it in person. There is one test transcript that is very odd. Odd? Yue Hua was slightly stunned. Recalling the cultivators present, Yue Hua did not find anyone odd. Besides Luo Hoyer, there were only a few others, like Yang Yefeng, who were barely acceptable. And this acceptable standard was only by using the Tai A Divine City standards. But the cultivators that came to the Tai A Divine City every year added up to a million people over the span of 500 years. In the long river of history, these elites would usually slowly be buried. Yue Hua followed her two disciples to the other room where they were grading the test transcripts. In the pile of test transcripts, one test transcript had been singled out. Although this test transcript had been previously graded, there was no score on it. It's this piece, one of the two girls said. They had already worked out the score to that transcript. It was only because they felt it was too ridiculous that they did not dare to fill it. Oh? Yuehua took the scroll and scanned it with her mental powers. She first looked at the simplest thing, the three energy reservoirs. It was filled up to 45%. Compared to Luo Huayer's 60%, it was nothing much. But according to the Tai A Divine City standards, this was definitely the best. By filling it up to 45%, a score of 151 was given. Barely satisfactory. Yuehua gave this evaluation in her mind. One could not see much from simply the filling quantity. Next was the energy control, which was the 182 fine rune paths. Seeing golden light emitting from it, Yuehua could already sense something. She did not use her mental powers to quickly scan it. She thoroughly checked every rune path, just as carefully as when she checked Luo Huayer's. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yuehua analyzed the methods of the examinee, and her expression grew solemn. This person's precision in his energy control was surprising. It's not any worse than Luo Huayer. Yuehua was very surprised. Energy control was much more important than the quantity of energy extracted as it depended on talent. If a person really could be comparable to Luo Hor up to a certain extent, then it would be a really big surprise. The Taiya Divine City actually has two monstrous geniuses appearing at once. Yuehua muttered to herself as she carried on looking at it, perfect, perfect, and still perfect. It was perfect up to the 100th fine rune path. Following that, 110, 120, 130. Up to the 130th fine path rune, every path had been perfectly filled, this stunned Yuehua greatly. She had originally thought that this examinee might be able to barely catch up with Luo Huayer, but she never expected that his energy control would exceed Luo Huayer's. Luo Huayer's first defect came after completing 126 fine path runes. But this person maintained his perfectly. 140, 150. Yuehua was very shocked. She slowly began to become short of breath. She stared unblinkingly at the test transcript. Although she was eager to know the final result, Yuehua's grading speed became slower and slower. Every rune path was examined carefully by her. It was still perfect up to 170. Could this test transcript be? Yuawa's expression turned incredulous. The more she wanted to know the result, the slower she graded. Yuawa's expression really looked as if she had just read a compendium left behind by an ancient desolate heaven master. 180, 181, 182. All the 182 fine rune paths were perfect. A perfect score. Yuawa froze. It took a while before she was able to regain her composure. She had deliberately prepared the test to make Luo Huayer sweat. 
It was something that would definitely make all the other Tai A Divine City examinees complain. But yet, there was someone who managed to get full marks on energy control. She finally understood why her two disciples came looking for her with such odd expressions. This definitely did not look like an examinee's answer script, but like the model answer scheme. 364 points from the energy control, with 151 points for energy extraction. This test transcript scored a total of 515 points. Luo Horror had only earned 494 points, yet this person scored 515. This was a ridiculous score. Who was this monster? Yue Hua took a deep breath and turned the scroll over. The examinee's names were written behind the scrolls. And all she saw was two words, Yi Yun. Yi Yun? Who's Yi Yun? Yue Hua did not pay attention to the Tai A Divine City's rookie ranking competition, so it was natural that she had never heard of this name. Check to see who Yi Yun is. Yue Hua said to her disciples. It was easy to check on a person in the Tai A Divine City. Everyone received an identity token when they entered the Tai A Divine City. Soon, Yue Hua received Yi Yun's details and saw Yi Yun's picture. Seeing the youth's picture, Yue Hua became dumbfounded. How could it be him? She never dreamed that Yi Yun would be the youth dressed in linen clothes. Yue Hua had gotten everyone to refine a desolate bone relic, but that youth was standing there like a fool. When he was asked why he did not do anything, the reason was because he did not know the desolate heaven technique. He did not know the desolate heaven technique, yet he managed to score 515 points on his test. Was this a joke? Although energy extraction was a basic of the desolate heaven technique and did not need much desolate heaven technique knowledge, it needed both talent and one knowing the methods to extract energy. In theory, it was possible for those who did not know the desolate heaven technique to be good at extracting energies. But this was in theory. Practically, one had to obtain perfection through practice. If this person had never attempted to extract energy before and reached such a standard in his first time, then it was too ridiculous. It was incredible. Could this kid be bluffing me when he said that he did not know the desolate heaven technique? But what would be the point in lying? Yue Hua gripped Yi Yun's test transcript tightly as she read through Yi Yun's details. She noticed that Yi Yun actually came from a small tribal clan in the cloud wilderness. A person from a small tribal clan in the cloud wilderness had no background. They were worse off than common civilians. Desolate heaven masters were like gods to them. It was common for them to not have any contact between one another. In other words, when Yi Yin said that he did not know the desolate heaven technique, it was likely the truth. For a person who does not know the desolate heaven technique to obtain such an achievement. Yue Hua muttered to herself. It was like she was in a dream. Chapter 272, Release of Results Not only did the Tai A Divine Cities cultivators form associations, they also formed societies. The biggest society was the Divine Wilderness Adventurers Alliance. The people in this society mainly formed groups to go into the Divine Wilderness to obtain training experience and hunt desolate beasts. And the second biggest society was the Desolate Heaven Master Society. The Desolate Heaven Master Society was located in the Central Divine Tower. Every month, the Desolate Heaven Master Society would organize various kinds of activities, and these activities received official support from the Tai A Divine City. Today, there were no special Desolate Heaven Master Society activities, but the hall was still overcrowded. There were 400 to 500 people gathered here. They were all desolate heaven master apprentices. Nearly 80 to 90 percent of the Tai A Divine City's desolate heaven master apprentices had come. It was because today was the day that Grandmaster Yuehua would release the test results. Yuehua's class actually only had about a hundred students enrolled. Many desolate heaven master apprentices could not afford to pay the tuition fee to attend the classes, but even so, when they heard that Yue Hua had tested her students during the lesson, many of them wanted to see the results of the geniuses. 
This test resulted in scholarships and allowances and that was very critical. And many people believed that this test, from a certain perspective, would indicate the levels of the desolate heaven master apprentices in the Thai A Divine City. The scores could determine who was better. There was no doubt who would be first. Luo Horror did not need to prove her desolate heaven technique talent. She had outshone everyone by breaking a record a few days ago. Everyone wanted to know who would get second place. Yang Yafeng, Li Daohong, and Zhou Shiguang were all contenders for second place. The three of them were in the top ten of the Man Roll of Honor. However, the top ten in the Man Roll of Honor did not only consist of desolate heaven master apprentices. For example, Qin Haoyan, Li Xiao, etc. earned a place in the top ten by earning dragon scale runes from hunting desolate beasts. Yuawa's test was a comprehensive way to judge all the desolate heaven master apprentices in the Tai A Divine City. The meaning behind the judging was very significant. Not only were the Tai A Divine City's desolate heaven master apprentices concerned, even many large factions had dispatched their informants to obtain first-hand information of the results. The people placed second to tenth would gain a lot of attention by all these large factions. At this moment, in the training ground of the Central Divine Tower's 69th floor, Luo Hor was dressed in a white training suit. Her two long legs were split 180 degrees apart. Her inner thighs were stuck to the ground while her body was bent backwards. Her body was bent into a perfect curve, with her silky long hair hanging down and spreading across the carpet. Luo Hor was practicing her family's heart sutra. Suddenly, Dahmer pushed the door open and furtively ran in. Miss, today is the day the results will be released. There are many people gathered in the desolate heaven master society. Everyone is waiting to see the rankings. Why aren't you going? Luo Horror did not answer as both of her hands pressed onto the ground while she lifted her entire body off the floor. Both her legs were still maintaining the 180 degrees posture. She looked like a bird that was spreading its wings. Because of Luo Hoyer's motions, her training suit stuck tightly to her body, showing off her perfect buttocks and chest. She focused on finishing the last few motions before she flung her hair and said, Anyway, I'll be first. There's nothing much to see. Those people's standards are so bad that I can use half a hand seal to beat them. Luo Hoyer's mouth curled before she carried on practicing. Donger chuckled, Miss is right. There's no other way besides Miss being first. But doesn't Miss want to see what result you obtained? The test was difficult. I have a vague idea what my score is, so I don't really need to see it to know it. Besides, there are so many they're squeezing to look at the results. If I were to go squeeze with them, won't I be degraded? Luo Huar curled her lips. Actually, this was the main reason why she was not going to look at the results. How could she squeeze in the crowd, tiptoeing just to see the rankings? Such a degradation did not match her status. Miss is right. I'll go. Donger volunteered and ran out of the training ground with her short legs. When Donger reached the society's grounds, it was extremely crowded. Even some of the large faction's ambassadors, who were not Tai A Divine City cultivators, were mixed in the crowd. Firstly, they were here to look at the results, and secondly, build good relations with the up-and-coming rookies. In the crowd, the three people who received the most attention were Yang Yafeng, Li Daohong, and Zhou Shiguang. Without Luo Huayer present, they were the leaders amongst the desolate heaven master apprentices. Brother Daohong, Brother Shiguang, it's been a while. Yang Yafeng greeted Li Daohong and Zhou Shiguang. How have you been, Brother Yafeng? I heard Brother Yafeng did very well for this test and have already reserved a banquet in the Divine Moon Restaurant. It looks like second place is definitely Brother Yafeng's. Li Daohong replied with a smile. Come on, come on. My results can only be considered satisfactory. It might not even be better than Brother Dao was. Yang Yafeng replied humbly. When young masters gathered together, they would often flatter each other, 
purposely causing the others to feel extremely flattered. In truth, only they knew what they were really thinking. Not only were their reputations on the line, there was also a generous scholarship. If you get the appreciation of Grandmaster Yuehua, you might even have a slim chance of learning the Thousand Hand Moon Buddha. Who did not want to be in second place for such an important test? Although the three seemed to complement each other openly, truthfully, all of them wanted to exceed the other. Hypocrites! Donger saw the three of them wishing to be second, but yet pretended to flatter one another. Although she was young, she sometimes knew the ways of the world. At this moment, the desolate Heaven Master Society's door was pushed open. Two black-cloaked Central Divine Tower law enforcers walked out. They were holding a scroll as thick as a water bucket in their hands. Everyone immediately turned silent. They sensed that the two law enforcers were here to release the results. And the scroll was likely the result ranking. Sure enough, when the two law enforcers came to the center, one of them said, Grandmaster Yuehua has told us to release the results. I will first paraphrase Grandmaster Yuehua's words. She said that in this test, the students who are ranked first and second will be able to receive the teachings of the Thousand Hand Moon Buddha. If the two of them wished, Grandmaster Yuehua would guide them with all her heart. When the law enforcers said these words, it was like a rock dropping into still water. The quiet scene turned into a tumultuous uproar. The first two would receive the teachings of the Thousand Hand Moon Buddha. If the two wished, Grandmaster Yuehua would guide them with all her heart. In fact, this was equivalent to taking them in as her personal disciples. Everyone knew that Grandmaster Yuehua's purpose in coming to the Taiya Divine City was to take in a disciple. She would only take in Luo Huayer, but everyone else was hoping to catch the fancy of Grandmaster Yuehua. Even being a disciple in name was something they could be contented with. And even if it was just being a disciple in name, one had to go through several tests and obtain outstanding results before it was possible. They never expected that just after the first test, Grandmaster Yuehua had decided to take in another disciple other than Luo Huayer. This was the greatest opportunity. Who was so lucky to obtain second place? A few desolate heaven master apprentices who were ranked at the top became excited. Brother Dawa, Brother Shirguang, I never expected that the three of us would have a chance. Who knows, maybe either Brother Dawa or Brother Shirguang has caught the fancy of Grandmaster Yuehua. Yang Yafeng said disingenuously. His voice was shaking. He was currently wishing that Li Daohong and Zhou Shiguang would suddenly die, leaving only him to be Grandmaster Yu Ewa's disciple. Ha ha! Brother Yefeng sure is humble. I think second place is most likely Brother Yefeng's. If that's the case, Brother Yefeng will be soaring into the sky. In the future, you must take good care of us. Zhou Shiguang also lied. As he said, his heartbeat rate accelerated as he murmured in his mind, It has to be me, it has to be me. At this moment, Li Daohong, Zhou Shiguang, and Yang Yefeng were the most nervous. It was the moment when their fate was decided. None of them had absolute confidence in beating the other two. The two law enforcers said, I will now post the results. A perfect score is 700 points. One of the law enforcers tore off the result list seal. No one else had seen the result list yet. The list was very long. A law enforcer would hold on to one end of the scroll, while the other law enforcer would pull open the other end of the scroll. The two of them would open up the scroll horizontally like an art picture, displaying the results slowly. Everyone held their breaths. After some light space, name after name appeared. These names appeared in the order from lowest to highest. The first name to appear was ranked at the bottom, with a score of just barely over 200 points. Such a low score. Some were secretly horrified. At the bottom of the list, with 700 points being the perfect score, obtaining 200 points was less than a third. The list was slowly revealed. Name after name appeared. When the youths saw their own score, their expressions looked complicated. 
It was not exactly a glorious thing to be ranked near the bottom. Slowly, more than ten names had appeared. Following that were those ranked in the middle, as the score slowly increased, exceeding 250 points. Following that, 260 points, 270 points, 280 points. The scores kept on increasing as they reached 300 points. Now, those youths who saw their names lit up. Although their scores were unimpressive, being ranked in the upper range amongst a group of elites made them proud of themselves. The list had opened up about three quarters. It reached the top 20 names. The remaining people tensed up. Yang Yefeng pretended to stay calm by fanning himself with his paper fan, but his palms were covered in sweat as his fan began to flap faster and faster, almost to the point of the fan tearing. Li Daohong hung a smile on his face, but his smile looked forced, as if it was frozen on his face. On the other hand, Zhou Shiguan did not conceal his feelings. Both of his hands were clenched into a fist as he stared without blinking at the names appearing on the list. He was afraid to see his name appear. After another ten names appeared on the list, it reached the top ten. At this moment, everyone's names that appeared were famous. They were the desolate heaven master geniuses that came from big family clans. Even so, these people's scores were still approximately 320 to 330 points. The perfect score was 700 points, and yet these geniuses from big family clans failed to obtain even 50%. It showed how difficult the test was. Those who had not appeared on the list were extremely nervous. They wished they were the lucky one other than Luo Huayer. After a few more names appeared, there was only a tiny portion of the scroll left to be unveiled. A few people looked disappointed. At this moment, the list's names were now written in a larger font. Each word was three times bigger. Due to the large font, the speed of revealing the scroll slowed down. So every name that appeared seemed to take even longer. Yang Yafeng and company felt that each second was like a year. All of them wished they would see the others' names, hoping to see their name last. Zhou Shiguang, 345 points. When Zhou Shiguang's name appeared, Zhou Shiguang who was standing beneath the stage felt like his brain had been slammed. His ears were ringing as he felt faint. He had been eliminated. His name had appeared before Li Daohong and Yang Yafeng. This meant that he scored the lowest amongst the three of them. Brother Shiguan, such a pity, Yang Yefeng fanned his fan saying. He was rejoicing in his heart, yet he purposely gave a look of regret. It's, it's all right. Congratulations to Brother Yefeng and Brother Dawa. I'm inferior. Zhou Shiguan cupped his hands and said it with an extremely reluctant smile. He looked uglier than crying. At this moment, Yang Yafeng and Li Daohong could no longer be bothered with speaking to Zhou Shiguan because the next name was about to appear. This was the most critical moment. Both of their hearts were beating like a drum as their pupils constricted. They unblinkingly stared at the result list that was being slowly revealed. If a person's gaze had any heat, the result list would probably have been burnt. Next was Li Daohong, 347 points. Li Daohong's body shook as his face turned white. His fingers trembled, unable to believe what he had seen. He had lost, lost to Yang Yefeng. At this moment, Yang Yefeng was rejoicing in his heart. Brother Daowa, such a pity. Just by a bit. Yang Yefeng's heart was beating fast as his blood flow sped up. He had wanted to look relaxed, but he could not fake it. His voice trembled slightly due to his excitement. Everyone could tell that Yang Yefeng was basically in an ecstatic happiness. After Li Daohong, Yang Yefeng's name appeared. Yang Yefeng, 360 points. Yang Yefeng did not know if he had done especially well that day because a divine being had possessed him. He had scored 13 points higher than Li Daohong, breaking through to 360 points. His score was really high. It was no wonder he had been selected together with Luo Huayer. Many people fought similarly. They had began to congratulate Yang Yefeng. 
Congratulations, Brother Yafeng. Brother Yafeng must treat us. It has to be at the most luxurious room in the Divine Moon restaurant. And it has to last for three days straight. Many people smiled and complimented him, but there was some sourness behind those smiles. Only people related to Yang Yefeng or people who had become a follower of the Chu royal residence were truly excited. If their boss was strong, they would also gain much from it. Many people were glad that they had joined the Chu royal residence earlier on. Now, Yang Yefeng's face was flushed turned red with excitement. His body was like a boiling pot that was about to burst. But he still had some sense. He did not get carried away till the end. There might be a dark horse appearing suddenly. Don't congratulate me too early. There are all sorts of hidden dragons and crouching tigers in the Tai A Divine City. There might be someone even better than Brother Shi Guang, Brother Daowa, and me. Yang Yafeng may sound humble and calm, but the vein on his forehead and already appeared. His eyes stared unblinkingly at the expanding result list. All he saw in his mind were the names that had already appeared. While the result list was being revealed, Yang Yefeng was already counting all the people that was a threat to him. All of their names had already appeared. Hence, there could not be any other person who could threaten his second place. He was definitely selected as Grandmaster Yu Ewa's disciple. It was like a dream. Brother Yefeng is so modest. How could it be? All those that should appear have appeared. As someone said that, a name that made Yang Yefeng heave a sigh of relief appeared. Luo Hoyer, 494 points. When this name appeared, it was even bigger than the previous names. It was even written horizontally. It took up two feet on the scroll. Each word was not written in black ink, but condensed using energy runes. This reflected the difference. 494 points. So high. Seeing this terrifying score, everyone's eyes widened. Yang Yafeng, who was in second place, had only earned 360 points. Luo Hoer had beaten him by more than 130 points. It was insane. People knew how terrifying Luo Hoer was, but only when the ridiculous result appeared did everyone realize the gap that was incredibly difficult to be bridged. In the crowd, Donger saw Luo Hoyer's score and punched her fists into the air. It was as if all the honor was hers. Hee hee, this is so good. Not only did she obtain first place, she had led number two by so much. When I tell Miss the good news later, I doubt she will be very happy. She would definitely say that it was a matter of course. Donger had already anticipated Luo Hoyer's reaction. Luo Hoyer's results were stunning, but Yang Yefeng could no longer be bothered. He only had one thought in his mind. With Luo Hoyer's name appearing already, there was no mistake about it. He was placed second. Because Luo Hoyer was first, and no one could score higher than Luo Hoyer. Congratulations Brother Yefeng. Brother Yefeng is a dragon amongst people. A group of people came to congratulate him immediately. Regardless if it was truthful or not, all of them sang praises for Yang Yefeng. Yang Yefeng had been chosen by Grandmaster Yuehua and he had limitless prospects in the future. Now that he was in high spirits, it was best to be enhance their relationship with him. Ha, everyone is too nice. Yang Yefeng turned his body to accept the congratulations from these people. He cleared his throat and said to the people around him, All these years, I have been practicing the desolate heaven technique arduously. Although I am lacking, I still worked hard and never relaxed. By receiving Grandmaster Yu Ewa's appreciation and her taking me in as a disciple, I am extremely afraid. I'm afraid I will not live up to Grandmaster Yu Ewa's expectations. In the future, I will work harder. With everyone's encouragement, I will fight for the Tai A Divine Kingdom, protecting and fighting for all life under the heavens. Yang Yefeng was riding on the crest of success and his voice was one octave higher. He wished he could fly up into the heavens. 
He had tried very hard to maintain his not pleased by external gains, not saddened by personnel image, but when he said these words, his mouth was almost from ear to ear. But just after he finished his impassioned monologue, he suddenly froze. Oh, what's wrong? He found something odd. All the people who had come to congratulate him had frozen. They were all looking at something behind him as if there was a ghost. Only the result list was behind Yang Yefeng's body. Yang Yefeng heart thumped. What's wrong? Was there a problem with the list? He did not dare to look back, but at this moment, an odd silence had befallen the entire hall. Everyone stood there dumbfounded. It was as if their expressions had been cursed, in a trance-like state. Yang Yefeng felt a cold breeze as his goosebumps raised on his back. He felt as if he was no longer in the desolate heaven master society, but in a silent graveyard. Luo horror, Luo horror, she, how could this be? After a long time in this tepid scene, a youth pointed at the ranking list and murmured with an incredulous look. Seeing the youth's reaction, Yang Yefeng suddenly felt like his chest had been struck with a knife. Everything around him had slowed down. Yang Yefeng's body froze. It was as if he had turned into a zombie that crawled out of a grave. He turned his body with difficulty as his head turned around bit by bit. The ranking list which had brought him tremendous glory and anticipation now turned into a scroll that contained a devil's curse. He did not dare to look at it. Yang Yefeng forced his eyes to land on the list. On the list, in a position ahead of Luo Hoyer, there were shiny golden runes that condensed into words. The words wrote, Yi Yun, 515 points. Seeing these words, Yan Yefeng suddenly felt as if his body's blood had been sucked out of his body. His body seemed to lost all support as he almost fell to the ground. 515 points? 515 points? This line of words circled in Yan Yefeng's mind like a curse. These golden words seemed to be dyed red, devouring him. Yi Yun, it's Yi Yun. How could it be Yi Yun? In over a hundred desolate heaven master apprentices, there was only one person named Yi Yun, and it was the most unlikely person. Nu. No. I cannot accept it. Yang Yefeng shouted. His face was contorted. Veins appeared on his neck and face. It was as if there were squirming worms under his skin. It made Yang Yefeng look hideous. There must be some mistake. Yi Yun does not know the desolate heaven technique, how can he be ranked ahead of Luo Huayer? How could he be ranked ahead of me? There must be some mistake. There must be some mistake. I'm second. I'm second. Yang Yefeng was already incoherent. He could not accept the reality in front of him. After his hopes were raised to an unprecedented peak that allowed him to look triumphantly in front of everyone, it had been snatched away from him. It was as if his heart had been sliced by a knife. Chapter 273, Uewa's Invitation Brother Yafeng, Brother Yafeng, calm down. Some of the cultivators who were part of the Chu royal residence rushed forward to pull Yang Yafeng back. Seeing Yang Yafeng's stance, he would have probably rushed up to tear down the ranking list if he was not stopped. At this moment, many of the desolate heaven master apprentices around Yang Yefeng were looking in complete disbelief at the bizarre ranking list. They still remembered the scene of Yi Yun standing foolishly in Grandmaster Yuewa's class. He did not even know how to refine a simple bone relic, yet he exceeded Luo Huayer? Was there really a mistake? I want to see Grandmaster Yuehua. Yang Yefeng was pulled back others, but he carried on screaming. Seeing Yang Yefeng in such a state, many desolate heaven master apprentices looked at him with sympathy and also with a sense of schadenfreude. The situation was very clear. Regardless of the list having a mistake, there was one thing that was certain. Grandmaster Yuehua had no intentions of taking in Yang Yefeng as a disciple. Yang Yefeng's test results was only 360 points. This score was not much higher than Li Daohong. So how could it catch Grandmaster Yue was I? 
Only a heaven-defying score like Luo Hoyer's 494 points and the questionable 515 points that Yun obtained were qualified to catch the eye of Grandmaster Yuowa. Now, the higher Yang Yefeng climbed, the harder he fell. If he did not have hopes to skyrocket in one step and did not say those impassionate words in public to the point of no return, he would not be in such a tragic state. You want to meet Grandmaster Yuehua? The two law enforcers in charge of releasing the results looked at Yang Yefeng as if they were looking at a retard. Grandmaster Yuehua isn't someone you can meet just because you want to. The two of them had never seen the results, but the results were handed to them personally by Grandmaster Yuehua. With Grandmaster Yuehua's mental powers, she could refine a desolate bone relic that required tens of thousands of seals without any problems, not to mention the recording of a score. How could she make such a simple error? Looks like Yi Yun really obtained first place. The two law enforcers left, leaving the group of desolate heaven master apprentices in a daze. Today's ranking was too shocking. It completely overturned everything they knew. But at this moment in the crowd, the little maid servant Donner was completely dumbfounded. Miss actually isn't first, Miss isn't first? The little maid muttered the sentence again and again. She stared with a large pair of watery eyes at the ranking list pasted on the wall. But no matter how long she stared at it, the large and eye-piercing words, Yi Yun, 515 points remained there. There was really no mistake. I need to tell Miss, Donger spoke to herself as she ran to the central divine tower with her short legs. At the 69th floor of the central divine tower, Donger rushed up quickly. Pying. Donger pushed open the training grounds door. At this moment, Luo Hor was still practicing her family's heart sutra. When she saw Donger's rash entrance, Luo Hor angrily said, Damn girl, what's all this rush about? Luo Horde needed to have a calm heart while she practiced. Donger's frequent entrance and exit affected her cultivation. Donger ignored Luo Hoyer's reprimand and exclaimed, Miss, miss, the test, test. Donger was extremely agitated so she was stuttering. The results have been released? All right, what's my score? Luo Hoare asked casually as she carried on her cultivation. It seemed like the release of the results was just a small matter to her. Donger hesitated as the words she was about to say got stuck. Miss received 494 points, Donger slowly said. 494 points? What's the perfect score? And how many points did the second place get? Luo Huar asked casually again. She did not know the grading rubric, but she knew roughly what 494 points meant. Perfect score is 700 points. Donger swallowed a mouthful of water and said nervously, and, you miss, you are the person in second place. Someone else got first place. His score was 515 points. Oh? Luo Hor was almost about to do a flip of her body to complete a revolution, but when she heard Donger's words, her body froze, almost to the point of crashing to the ground. What did you say? Someone got 515 points, higher than me. Luo Hor stared widely. Her cultivation state was now in a mess, all lost in that one breath. Donger jumped up in fright. She carried on nodding her head fervently. Luo Horror looked at Donger with a dumbfounded expression. She knew that Donger was a natural simpleton who would not crack a joke. How could someone be higher than her? Was that person someone like that Yang Yefeng or something? Just recalling Yang Yefeng's toad face, Luo Horror felt that it was impossible. If she could not beat that toad, she might as well just die. Who scored higher than me? Luo Hor crawled up and grabbed Donger's shoulders. She was a lot taller than Donger, so now with her scary expression, Donger became afraid. That, that person's name is Yi Yun. Donger did not know the story behind Yi Yun and Luo Hoyer. Of course, she did not know what impact the two words, Yi Yun, left on Luo Hoyer. Who? After hearing that name, Luo Hoyer felt as if she was struck by lightning. She was completely dumbfounded. That, that rascal? 
How could that be possible? Luo Horror stared till her eyes turned round and her mouth was so open that a quail's egg could be stuffed in it. Just the mentioning of Yi Yun made her remember the evil words he had said a few days ago. That asshole actually ranked above her? Besides, it was clear he did not know the desolate heaven technique. Knock knock knock. Just as Luo Horror could no longer accept it any longer, she heard knocks on the door. Donga ran to the door and saw a girl in white that looked twenty years old standing outside the door. Little lady, how are you? The girl in white smiled sweetly. Good, Donger greeted in a daze. Is Miss Luo Huayer here? The girl in white asked softly. Luo Huayer walked over, you are. I am Grandmaster Yu Ewa's personal disciple. You can call me Senior Sister Liang. My master invites Miss Luo. The girl in white gave a smile that made one very comfortable. Luo Horror was just about to look for Grandmaster Yuehua. She wanted to see the result list with her own eyes. She wanted to see how that irritating rascal had defeated her. Let's go. Luo Horror quickly changed her set of clothes and followed the girl in white to Yuehua's room. The girl in white took Luo Horror to the 98th floor of the central divine tower. Upon pushing open the door, all one could see was a spacious hall. In the middle of the hall, there was an elegant-looking woman sitting on a chair. She was none other than Yue Hua. Beside Yue Hua was another girl who looked like she was in her twenties. This girl had brought a youth. This youth was the person who made Luo Horror have no idea how to deal with Yi Yun. At the beginning, Luo Horror was slightly annoyed with Yi Yun when he first managed to break the record through trickery. Later, in the training ground, that awkward situation had made Luo Hua want to silence Yi Yun, destroying his body in order to cover all traces. Next was this test. Yi Yun had crushed Luo Hua with his score of 515 points. What sort of person was he? Why did she have this rotten luck every time she met him? Luo Hua looked at Yi Yun while he looked back at her. Just exchanging glances with Yi Yun made Luo Hua feel uncomfortable. She kept feeling bugged in the chest. Student Luo Hor greets teacher Yue Hua. Luo Hor respectfully bowed. Hmm. Yue Hua nodded with a smile. Hua, in the future I will call you as such. Do you have any doubts? Yue Hua's voice was amiable. No matter who it was, they would find it strange encountering such a thing. A kid who had never had any contact with the desolate heaven technique had defeated a bunch of elites. How could this be possible? Yes. Luo Huar nodded. She said indignantly, Teacher, I personally think this person doesn't know the desolate heaven technique. I cannot believe that he can score higher than me. Can, can I look at the test paper? Luo Hor was suspecting that Yi Yun's test paper was different from the one she did. Yue Hua gently smiled and said, I will show it to you in a while if you want. Actually, I am also wondering, how did Yi Yun score higher than you? Yi Yun had also just arrived and I did not have a chance to ask him yet. As Yue Hua said this, her gaze landed on Yi Yun. Her eyes looked clear, as if she could see through Yi Yun. Yi Yun held his breath. He knew it was time to explain once again. Talent was one thing, but just using talent to explain it was insufficient. Yi Yun, your energy control, received a perfect score. You filled in the 182 fine rune paths perfectly. How did you do that? Before Yi Yun could answer Yu Ewa's question, Luo Hor covered her mouth. What? A perfect score. Teacher. Did we really take the same test? Luo Huar asked. She knew the difficulty of that test she did. Even if she was given another 15 minutes, she could not guarantee that she could perfectly complete the 182 fine rune paths. Of course, there was only one type. Yue Hua looked seriously at Yi Yun. Her eyes looked as brilliant as the stars at night. When Luo Huar received Yue Hua's affirmation, she found it ridiculous. 
She had been exposed to the desolate heaven technique since she was young, yet she was inferior to a rookie who took one lesson? Luo Huayer's reaction was noticed by Yi Yun. He touched his nose and awkwardly said that, how many points did Miss Luo Huayer get in energy control? Yi Yun had attempted such a test for the first time. He did not know what results the other desolate heaven master apprentices would obtain without the help of the purple crystal. Seeing Luo Hoyer, who was an extremely proud girl, lose her cool when she heard that he had obtained a perfect score, Yi Yun knew that he had caused a big situation. But even if it was a big situation, Yi Yun did not mind revealing his advantage at energy control as it could be explained. As for energy filling, this needed the foundation in one's training. If Yi Yun, who lacked training, did shockingly well in that aspect, then he would arouse suspicion. Chapter 274 Acknowledging a Quasi Master. When Yi Yun asked about her results, Luo Hoyer's face sank. Her results were much more inferior. Saying it out would just show how bad she was compared to Yi Yun. Hoyer, do you know your result? Yue Hua asked Luo Hoyer with a smile. Luo Hoyer reluctantly nodded, I probably filled 138 fine rune paths perfectly. 20 fine rune paths were not completely filled, and the remaining 24 fine rune paths were left completely empty. Luo Huar accurately mentioned her own results. Yue Hua nodded, that's right. Huar's energy control score is 296 points, but Yi Yun managed to get a perfect score, which is 364 points. Although for energy filling, Yi Yun's results were not stunning, but just his energy control already got him first place. Yi Yun, was it really your first time coming into contact with the desolate heaven technique? Yue Hua looked at Yi Yun with sparkling eyes. Here it came. Yi Yun took a deep breath and still nodded, yes. It was the first time this junior came into contact with the desolate heaven technique. Oh? Yue Hua's eyes flashed. This gaze was blinding. She clearly doubted Yi Yun's words. But, Yi Yun quickly added on, although this junior doesn't know the desolate heaven technique, I have received some pointers from an expert for energy extraction. To fool a person like Yue Hua, Yi Yun had to mix some truths with some lies. If they were all lies, Yue Hua would easily see through it. Expert? May I know what his name is? Yue Hua became interested. An expert, who could find a genius like Yi Yun, was no ordinary person. This, Yi Yun faltered slightly and appeared hesitant. He did not tell this junior whether I could reveal his name, so this junior would rather not say it. But, he had left this junior a book, this book describes many experiences related to energy extraction. Yi Yun mixed truths with lies and took out a black scroll. This was the desolate heaven master notebook that Su Jia had given to Lin Xintong. The first scroll amongst the 18 scrolls of Su Jia's desolate heaven master notebook described energy control. Because energy control was the foundation of the desolate heaven technique, it was only right for it to be described in the first scroll. About half a year ago, Lin Xintong had left Yi Yun this notebook before she left. They had agreed on a two year period. Back then, Lin Xintong had said, in two years, if you can understand the most basic hand seals and energy control, then I will aid you in learning the desolate heaven technique. Oh? This scroll. Seeing Su Jie's scroll, Yue Hua's pupils shrank. Can I take a look? When Yue Hua asked, Yi Yun hesitated. It was, after all, something Lin Xintong had given him. It was not nice to just give it to others. Yue Hua naturally understood Yi Yun's hesitation. She was not angered, and in fact, felt that what he did was appropriate. She laughed, I will not look at the contents in the scroll. With that, Yi Yun handed the scroll over to Yue Hua. Yue Hua gave the scroll a look and her expression turned complicated, it's really him. Yue Hua gave off a light sigh. It was as if she had recalled something. She handed the scroll back to Yi Yun and said, I see, I didn't expect that you would have received pointers from him. I had originally wanted to ask if you would want to be taken in by me as a disciple, 
but I did not expect you to already have a master. Yue Hua grimaced deep down. She had seen two pieces of jade, Yi Yun and Luo Huayer. However, due to Luo Huayer's mysterious background, it was likely that she had a master. Even Yi Yun, a commoner who came from the cloud wilderness, had a master. It was quite ironic that with her status, there would be numerous people wishing to be taken in as disciples if she wanted to, yet when she wanted to take in any Yun and Luo Huart as personal disciples, she could not take them in. Yuehua felt that their talents were rare and they would have a great future ahead of them. When she compared them to her two other disciples, her disciples were inferior. After some thought, Yuehua let out a sigh and said, Are you too willing to acknowledge me as a quasi master? Quasi master? Yi Yun was slightly stunned. In this world, there were a few types of masters. Firstly, there was the late master. Due to chancing upon some opportunities and receiving the heritage from a dead person, such a master was known as a late master. For example, in Yi Yun's gaining of Saber Truth insight in the Saber Tomb, the Saber Tomb's owner was Yi Yun's late master. Secondly, there was a master. A disciple would go through a formal ceremony to acknowledge a master. Typically, there was only one such master under normal circumstances. There were exceptions. When one's strength exceeded one's master, the master-disciple relationship would be automatically be relieved, allowing one to find another master. As for the third type, there was the quasi-master. A quasi-master was not an official master, but one could follow the quasi-master to learn all sorts of skills and martial arts. One could have many quasi-masters, and there was no strict formal ceremony. Typically, a sage-ranked desolate heaven master like Yuehua would be a real master, whether it be taking in a personal or in-name disciples. She would never be a quasi-master. But for Yi Yun and Luo Hua, Yuehua had decided on this. Originally with just Luo Hoyer, Yuehua was not willing to degrade her status to be a quasi-master. However, with Yi Yun appearing, Yuehua could no longer curb the temptation. Taking in one was no different than taking in two disciples. She might as well be a quasi-master. This was because Yi Yun's master was Su Jie. Yuehua was cognizant of her inferiority, so being a quasi-master after Su Jie was in no way disgracing herself. Grandmaster Yuehua is actually willing to be our quasi-master? Yi Yun was surprised. He knew the meaning behind a quasi-master. It made him feel flattered. I guess Grandmaster Yuehua knows Old Man Su, in the future, she would probably find out that Old Man Su is not my master at all. But it is a fact that I received Old Man Su's scroll. Since I didn't say that I had acknowledged Old Man Su as my master and only said that I had learned from him, it cannot be considered a lie. After thinking it through, Ian felt that there would not be any problems and said, Thanks to Grandmaster Yuawa's appreciation, this junior is willing to acknowledge you. Ian was well aware of his present situation. He may have shown unparalleled talent, but compared to a sage or the large factions in the Tai A Divine Kingdom, the gap was too great. He needed resources and protection. A faction like the Chu Royal Residence was still aiming to rope him in by signing a soul contract. Naturally, he would not agree to it. In contrast, a sage-ranked Grandmaster Yuehua, who had no demands on him, only wanted to take him in as a disciple, even as a quasi-disciple, to groom him. Yuehua had already degraded her status, so if he were to reject it, he would be failing to appreciate her kindness. Yi Yun bowed in the form of acknowledging her. Luo Hor, who was watching beside him, fell into a daze. She did not know whether to acknowledge or not. Yuehua looked at Luo Hor without any insistence. She guessed that Luo Hor had many worries mostly due to her background. But in reality, Yuehua had thought too much. Luo Hor did not care about all those rules or pointless ceremonies. What was on her mind was that if she acknowledged Yuehua as a master, she would become a fellow disciple with that irritating rascal, Yi Yun. Wouldn't they then be meeting frequently? Wouldn't that be a joke? Huar, if you don't wish to, it's alright. Yuehua's expression was calm. 
At this moment, Luo Horror gritted her teeth and bowed, saying, Hoyer is willing to acknowledge. Yue Hua gave a satisfactory smile, good, in the future, the both of you will be fellow disciples. You must love each other and take care of each other. How could Yue Hua know of the past matter Zi Yun and Luo Hoyer had? All the words she said were common remarks made when taking in disciples, but Luo Hoyer's corner of her mouth twitched when she heard them. What sort of life was this? She and Yun had suddenly became fellow disciples. It really made her speechless. Back in the training ground when Yun saw her breasts, then hearing the embarrassing words Yun said, Luo Hor never expected that she would end up in such a relationship with Yun one day. She was really at a loss whether to laugh or cry. Then, that will be all for today. In the future, Yun's tuition fee will be waived. If you have any problems with the desolate heaven technique, you can look for me at any time for answers. As Yuehua said this, she took out two notebooks from her interspatial ring. Yi Yun and Luo Hor received one each. This is my desolate heaven technique notebook. Both of you can take it back to learn from it. Yi Yun's book is on the most basic things while Huayer's book is a bit more profound. Yuehua was very considerate. Yi Yun's talent may be alarming, but his foundation was too weak. The notebook Yue Hua passed to Yi Yun was prepared for Desolate Heaven Master Apprentices many years back. As such, it could make up for Yi Yun's lack of a foundation. Thank you, Master. Yi Yun accepted the notebook and looked at Yue Hua with gratitude. Yi Yun and Luo Hor bade farewell and walked out the door. Yi Yun noticed that Luo Hoyer's face was still sullen. He did not know what she was thinking, but clearly she was not very happy. Luo Hor was in front, while Yi Yun was in the back. The two of them walked silently to their apartments. Unfortunately, they were also neighbors, so their apartments were also in the same place. Naturally, they walked along the same path. The two remained silent, causing the atmosphere to turn extremely awkward. Yi Yun felt that since they were fellow disciples, they could not carry on like this in the future. As such, he coughed dryly and tried to make a greeting to ease their relations. Oh, that. Just after Yi Yun said those words, Luo Hor immediately stopped and she turned to look at Yi Yun. Being surprised, Yi Yun stopped. What that? Who were you calling? In the future, I'm your senior sister. Next time when you see me, you are to shout senior sister. Did you hear that? Luo Horror said fiercely and even waved her little fist to demonstrate her prowess. Since them being fellow disciples was an unalterable fact, then it was natural that she had to be the senior sister. Just thinking of this irritating rascal having to address her as senior sister this, senior sister that, it did not seem so bad after all. Having an errand boy was also good. Things like bringing in and pouring the tea and other things would make everything a lot easier. Luo Huar's thoughts were as such. As for how Yi Yun thought or if he would resist against it, it was naturally not in Luo Huar's consideration. As such, Luo Huar slowly cheered up. Her sullen little face suddenly brimmed with smiles. Seeing Luo Huar's face turn in such an inexplicable way, Yi Yun turned agape. He did not know what to say. He had not even said a word. This girl, was she right in the head? Chapter 275, Lin Bongal The news of Yuehua taking in disciples quickly spread throughout the Tai A Divine City. People thought that Yuehua took in personal disciples and did not know that she was just a quasi-master. If they knew that, it would be impossible to know their reaction. When Yang Yefeng heard that Yuehua took in both Yun and Luo Horror as disciples, he received another devastating blow. These days, Yang Yefeng was completely listless. He locked himself in his house all day and did not see anyone. For a person like Yang Yefeng, who was one of the leaders of the younger generation in the Chu royal residence other than the Chu crown prince, what was most important in his circle was face. But now, he had become the biggest joke in the Tai A Divine City. In Yuawa's first lesson, Yang Yefeng had ridiculed Yun in an extremely condescending way, 
but the next day he had been mercilessly suppressed by Yi Yun. The face he valued so much had been smashed to pieces. Taking advantage of this opportunity, many of those who were not on good terms with Yang Yefeng purposely spread and embellished the actions and the impassioned words he said in front of a crowd. Soon, Yang Yefeng became a huge joke amongst the aristocratic circles. Whenever Yang Yefeng thought of this incident, he would go crazy. Many of the things in his house had already been broken by him. Yi Yun. I'll remember this. Yang Yefeng did not dare to hate Yue Hua, he could only hate Yi Yun. From his failure in recovering the truth of the laws to the point of him becoming a clown in the Tai A Divine City, it was all because of Yi Yun. He was determined to find an opportunity to settle scores. Now, in the Wilderness Divine Hall. Yi Yun was in the sixth hall of the Wilderness Divine Hall. He had already stayed in there for 16 hours. The primordial species statue in front of Yi Yun was a large, red firebird. The firebird had its wings spread out. Its feathers were soaked in great yin gold, making it shine like the lustrous sun. It was burning in front of Yi Yun. Yi Yun was standing almost right in front of the firebird, at a distance of less than three feet. The frightening heat made Yi Yun feel like he was being burned by flames, his entire body was scalding hot. He perspired and soon his sweat evaporated to form steam. That feeling was extremely hard to undertake. This rainbow blood feather is scary. Yi Yun gasped. He had already come to the sixth wilderness divine hall, which contained the rainbow blood feather, several times. The rainbow blood feather was chosen by the founding city lord of the Tai A Divine City. It was a primordial species that had a vestige bloodline of the ancient three legged golden crow. Back when Yi Yun cultivated the Tai A sacred technique, he had chosen this hall in the wilderness divine hall to cultivate pure Yang Qi. It made the process so much easier. But till now, Yi Yun had only spent about two to four hours in the sixth hall of the wilderness divine hall. He had never spent 16 hours in there like he did today. This was a big challenge for Yi Yun. Yi Yun kept using the purple crystal to control the pure yang power in the hall. At the same time, he also used the pure yang power to think through the 10,000 beast totem. To use the 10,000 beast totem to complete an aspect totem was an extremely difficult task. This was not only an aspect totem mystic technique prepared for sages, it was even a remnant copy. Even Yi Yun, with the purple crystal's help, found it very difficult to gain much understanding in the 10,000 beast totem. Indeed, the primordial species killed by others millions of years ago cannot be used to condense an aspect totem. Yi Yun felt a sense of regret while enduring the torturous, high temperature. Cultivating the 10,000 beast totem was best done by condensing the energies of primordial species. Warriors who cultivates an aspect totem had to absorb the energies of the desolate beasts they killed, only then could it be completed. The rainbow blood feather in front of him had been dead for many years. So even with the help of the purple crystal, Yi Yun had no way of binding those energies to condense an aspect totem that belonged to him. The purple crystal may be heaven-defying, but at times, it will also follow certain rules. Yi Yun thought in his mind. The purple crystal had absolute control over energy, but it was not omnipotent. For example, the energy controlled by another living being could not be absorbed by the purple crystal. Now, in the condensing of an aspect totem, the purple crystal also followed the rules of the aspect totem. It seems that I have to use the desolate beasts I kill with my own hands to condense an aspect totem that belongs to me. With my current strength, it's completely impossible for me to hunt a primordial species. I can only instead use low-grade desolate beasts, but that will make mastering the 10,000 beast totem much more difficult. The path Yi Yun chose was already much harder than others from the outset. Not only in regards to the aspect totem, even the saber truth's 32 words, the Taiya sacred technique and the pure Yang great Tao that Yi Yun chose were all extremely difficult types. It was difficult to grasp it, and perfecting it was difficult. However, once it was mastered, it was obvious how beneficial they would be for Yi Yun. 
Other people still had to switch mystic techniques midway, Yi Yun however did not need to do that. These great Dao Yi Yun shows were sufficient for Yi Yun to reach an extremely high level. After the 18th hour, Yi Yun came out from the 6th hall in the wilderness divine hall. All of his skin had been completely burned red. These 18 hours of cultivation had been a kind of torture for Yi Yun. Although the rainbow blood feather's energy could not be condensed into an aspect totem, Yi Yun still gained something. He had used the pure yang power in the 6th hall to continuously deduce the 10,000 beast totem. Now, Yi Yun had a much deeper understanding of the 10,000 beast totem technique. Thanks to this, when Yi Yun really went out into the divine wilderness to hunt desolate beasts, it would make his attempt at condensing of a 10,000 beast totem aspect totem much easier. Yi Yun dragged his exhausted body back to his apartment, there he took a comfortable bath and meditated for about an hour before he slowly recovered. At this moment, the door sounded. Yun opened the door and saw a maid servant of Luo Huayer standing by the door. She looked at Yun and stuttered, Teacher Yuehua has set up a lesson for you. The work needs to be handed over to Teacher Yuehua after you are done. The maid servant said while passing a jade scroll to Yun before she turned and ran away. Yun laughed. He injected his spiritual energy into the jade scroll and scanned it. Inside it, there were practices that involved energy extraction and basic desolate heaven master seals. When Yi Yun completed it, he would then hand it to Yue Hua for her to point out his deficiencies. I never expected Grandmaster Yue Hua to guide me in such a painstakingly manner. Yi Yun was flattered by such painstaking educational methods. He kept the Jade Scroll and walked to the Desolate Heaven Master Society. The Desolate Heaven Master Society had dedicated bone refinement rooms. On top of that, Yuehua had set aside an exclusive area for Yi Yun and Luo Huayer. This exclusive zone had the best facilities for the Desolate Heaven technique. Yi Yun opened the door to the bone refinement room. Luo Huayer was already in there. Besides Luo Huayer, there were also Luo Huayer's maid servant Donger as well as six other young girls. These girls had clearly received Luo Huayer's approval to enter. They too were desolate heaven master apprentices. President, what do you think of my method? A girl with a ponytail asked Luo Huayer after she took out a scroll that had energy runes condensed within it. President? Yi Yun was stunned. How did Luo Huayer become a president? On further thought, Yi Yun recalled that Luo Horror had formed the Luohua Association, and it was a large association, only second to the Linxiao Association in the Tai A Divine City. And Luo Horror was the president. This girl actually used her name to name the association. She sure is narcissistic. Yi Yun mused. He could not help but recall the first time he met her and the speech she spoke to the mirror. You came? Luo Horror glanced at Yi Yun. She actually greeted Yi Yun with a face full of smiles. She casually pointed to a spot and said, You can have that position. Xiaoling, give way. Yes, President. The girl named Xiaoling obediently gave up her spot to Yi Yun. These girls were clearly also from the Luohua Association. The room was full of estrogen except for the only male, Yi Yun. Yi Yun stroked his chin. Why was Luo Horror so nice to him today? She even smiled at him? Yi Yun walked to his spot and took out a jade scroll. He was preparing to finish the work Yue Hua assigned him. Everything has been prepared. Master got someone to bring them over. Luo Hoyer said and pointed to the stone table in front of Yi Yun. There was a pile of materials which were required for the assignment. All right, Yi Yun nodded. He noticed that Luo Hoyer's eyes looked around when she was speaking to him. She never looked at him. Yi Yun took a glance at the materials. They were the same as the pile on Luo Hoyer's table. For energy extraction, Yi Yun exceeded Luo Hoyer greatly, so their assignment was exactly the same. Yi Yun recalled the things Yue Hua said in class. He reached out his hand to grab the materials but when his hand touched the materials, 
he suddenly felt that something was amiss. Oh! Yi Yun was slightly surprised. As the purple crystal was within his body, he was extremely sensitive to energy fluctuations. This material is odd. Yi Yun examined the material. The material's name was Lin Bone Gall. This was the gall of the desolate beast Lin Snake. The Lin Snake was very special. The surface of the gall was not made of flesh, but was made of an inch thick bone shell. This bone shell enclosed the bile, so it was unique to the Lin Snake. Such a Lin Bone Gall was the most valuable body part of the Lin Snake. It was not easy to extract the energy from a Lin Bone Gall, failure could come from a single mistake. This was also the reason why Yue Hua used this material for the assignment. By feeling something amiss, Yi Yun opened up his energy vision once again. With the energy vision open, everything he saw turned into their original energy forms. All appearances disappeared. Yi Yun finally saw the mystery hiding within the Lin Bone. Inside the desolate bone, there was a strange energy node. There were four different power of desolates mixed in this node. These energies were bound together by a seal, maintaining a delicate balance. They cancelled out each other's effects and was well hidden. If not for Yi Yun's energy vision, it would be difficult to realize its existence. Yi Yun analyzed it bit by bit and understood that if he were to inject his spiritual energy into the desolate bone to extract its energy, he would break the balance amongst the four power of desolates. Following that, the Lin Bone Gall would also explode. Because the energy was not strong, this explosion would not hurt Yi Yun, but it would drench Yi Yun with bitter bile. Chapter 276 Life is Filled with Miseries What was this energy node? Yi Yun was surprised. The body of the Lin Snake was huge and its gall was about the size of a child's brain. If he tried to extract the energy from the Lin Bone Gall in the prescribed order, his body would be soaked in bile once it exploded. It can't be an elaborate trap that teacher Yue Hua set up, right? Yi Yun felt that this was unlikely. Even if teacher Yue Hua wanted to test him, she would not do such a thing. At this moment, Yi Yun suddenly came to a realization. In the corner of his eyes, he noticed that although Luo Huo appeared to be slowly extracting energy, her eyes were furtively looking at him. With this, Yi Yun immediately understood that this was Luo Huo's prank. Yi Yun was speechless. This girl is so vengeful. I embarrassed her once and all she wants is to take revenge, to make me make a fool out of myself. No wonder this girl took the initiative to greet me when we met today. Also, all of these Luawa Association members were probably invited by Luo Horror to be the audience of this incident. Luo Horror probably felt that it would be more fun if Yi Yun made a fool out of himself in front of a crowd. It would not be as enjoyable to watch by herself. These Luawa Association members did not know that Luo Horror had tampered with anything. They would likely assume that Yi Yun had made a mistake, resulting in the Lin Bone Gall exploding. Many thoughts flashed across Yi Yun's mind, but he was already very clear about everything that had happened. Hence, Yi Yun placed the Lin Bone Gall back unhurriedly. Following that, he pretended to examine the other materials. At this moment, Luo Hor could not concentrate on her energy extraction as she was secretly observing Yi Yun. When Yi Yun picked up the Lin Bone Gall first, she became very excited, she was waiting to watch the mayhem ensue. She did not expect him to place the Lin Bone Gall back down. Then, Yi Yun slowed down even more. One moment, he was looking at a material, the other moment, he was touching another material. It did not seem like he had any intention to begin. Luo Hor was getting anxious. She could no longer hide her thoughts. This darn kid, why isn't he doing anything yet? Luo Huar was pissed. She patiently waited for 15 minutes before Yi Yun finally began the energy extraction process. Luo Huar's eyes lit up. Hee hee, the show is about to start. She could not wait to see Yi Yun become drenched in bitter bile. As she brightened her eyes and focused on Yi Yun, she also pretended to do her own thing. 
she saw Yi Yun holding the Lin Bone Gall, oblivious to the difference. Yi Yun stayed silent for a while before he began injecting spiritual energy into the Lin Bone Gall. He made some of the hand seals according to Yue Wu's notebook, slowly extracting the power of desolates from within the Lin Bone Gall. Actually, Yi Yun could extract the desolate bone energy even without a seal. But he still wanted to familiarize himself with everything in the desolate heaven technique, as it would further aid him in understanding the desolate heaven technique. As expected, this fool did not realize a thing. I do not know how he managed to get a perfect score for energy control, but how can this fool be better than me when it comes to energy? My tiny tampering would be enough for torture him. He he, it's going to explode soon. When that happens, it would be fun, Luo Hor felt a sense of schadenfreude. This energy trap was designed by herself. It was tailor-made for Yi Yun. No doubt, Luo Hor was very clever and the energy trap she designed was ingenious. She had brought along a large audience, and all of them were beauties. When Yi Yun make a fool of himself in the midst of all these beauties, these girls would spread the news of Yi Yun's embarrassing state, making even more people know about it. Just thinking of this made Luo Hor feel delighted. As for whether the revenge method she employed was immature or not, Luo Hor did not care. She was such a petty person. But, even after Yi Yun injected his spiritual energy into the Lin Bone Gall, five seconds passed without the Lin Bone Gall exploding. Luo Huar was curious. What happened? The energy trap should have been triggered immediately. Did she make an error, making the energy imbalance process need a longer period of time before activating? Luo Horror could not exactly figure out what was wrong her design trap. She comforted herself and carried on waiting patiently. But. Ten seconds went by and the Lin Bone Gall was still silent. Twenty seconds. The Lin Bone Gall was still fine. What the? Luo Huar was confused. The energy trap she set up should have exploded immediately. Yet, 20 seconds passed without it exploding. After 30 seconds, the energy Yi Yun extracted grew more and more. He had already condensed the rune paths on a blank scroll, while the Lin Bone Gull was still being held in his hand. Luo Huar was dumbfounded. Did her energy trap malfunction? Luo Huar had always been proud of her intelligence and she felt that she would never make such a mistake. But, the fact was laid right in front of her. She really hoped that the energy trap within the Lin Bone Gull was just stuck and it would quickly return to normal, but... Half an hour passed. Luo Hor finally gave up. This darn kid sure has good luck. Luo Hor gritted her teeth and murmured to herself. She was indignant about it. All she wanted to know was, in what aspect did the energy trap she set up go wrong? She thought through the entire energy trap's principles once more, but there should not be any problems. Slowly, another 30 minutes passed. Yi Yun had completed the extraction of the power of desolates in the Lin Bone Gall. He wiped the sweat from his forehead and placed the Lin Bone Gall to the side. I can only extract this much. I am really lacking in cultivation level. I am unable to extract all of the power of desolates from it. Yi Yun pretended to appear tired. Actually, with the purple crystal's full horsepower, no matter how many Lin Bone Gulls there were, it would not be enough for him to tire from extracting. Eh? Miss Luo, why do you look so bad? Yi Yun looked at Luo Huar with a puzzled look. Luo Huar's face was sullen. She could not understand why Yi Yun's luck was so good that he could avoid this disaster. I'm all right. Luo Hor replied stiffly. She also did not pursue the matter of Yi Yun not addressing her as senior sister. Oh, Yi Yun shrugged. He ignored Luo Hoyer and said, I consume too much Yuan Qi, and I will need to recharge. You guys carry on. After saying this, he went to the corner of the room and sat down. He swallowed a bone relic, closed his eyes, and began mediating. This useless rascal. 
He's out of stamina just after extracting this tiny bit of energy, Luo Horror despised a Yilin, but what made her most pissed was that this trash had actually beaten her. After hesitating for a while, Luo Horror looked at Yi Yun again. She noticed that Yi Yun had cut off all perception. In a safe environment, warriors would often cut off their perception while meditating. They would isolate themselves from their environment as it increased the efficiency of meditating. Now, Yi Yun seemed to be in such a state. Luo Horror casually swayed around a bit to determine if Yi Yun was able to notice her or not. She then quickly walked over to the stone table where Yi Yun previously was, after which, she picked up the Lin Bone Doll that Yi Yun was using. At, Miss, what are you doing? Donger asked curiously when she saw Luo Hoyer's actions. Shu. Luo Horror made a gesture telling her to be silent and furtively took a glance at Yi Yun. After determining that Yi Yun did not respond, she began probing the Lin Bone Gall. She wanted to know what exactly went wrong with the energy trap she set up within the Lin Bone Gall. She had perfected her desolate heaven technique foundation, so how did a trap that she set up not explode? What was wrong? Could it be that there was a fundamental flaw in the trap she designed? If she did not know the reasoning behind the mistake, it would be dangerous. Who knows what sort of problems would happen due to a flawed understanding? Luo Hor calmed down and injected her spiritual energy deep into the Lingal bone to examine its energy structure. She wanted to know where the mistake was. Luo Hor was a person who had to know everything about the desolate heaven technique. But at the moment Luo Hoyer's spiritual energy touched the energy trap, the energy balance was broken, and all of the four power of desolates erupted. It happened at lightning speed. Pying. Luo Hor was originally focused on finding the flaw in the energy trap. She never expected that nothing happened when Yi Yun used his spiritual energy, but once she used hers, the energy trap exploded. What kind of reasoning was this? The sudden explosion left almost no time for Luo Hor to react. She jerked backwards, but the green snake bile had sprayed out everywhere due to the energy flow, drenching her entire body. This was also part of Luo Hoyer's trap. She wanted to prevent any escape, even if Yun were to realize something had gone wrong. But now, all those plans backfired on Luo Hoyer herself. Too deep for tears. Luo Hoyer stood there in a complete daze. The bile was dripping from her body and her hair was wet. There was even a large wet stain on her clothes. Her face was also covered in the green bile. She looked like a cat that had just fallen into a drain filled with dirty water. Luo Huayer was petrified. She just stood there in a daze as her mind went blank. Miss. Miss. What happened? Donger never expected the Lin Bone Gull to explode the moment Luo Huayer picked it up. The other Luahua Association members were also shocked. They all stopped their desolate heaven technique practice and rushed over to see if Luo Horror was fine. President, what happened? President, are you all right? The girls asked with concern one after another. Hearing these people's words, Luo Horror went mad. Can someone tell me what the hell happened? At this moment, Yi Yun also stopped meditating upon hearing all the commotion. He walked over with an uncertain expression. Squeezing himself in amongst the girls and looked curiously at Luo Hoyer, Miss Luo, are you alright? Was this an explosion? What happened? Did you lose control of the energy? When desolate heaven masters refine desolate bone relics, an explosion might occur if there was a loss of energy control. It was similar to how alchemists' furnaces would explode if they made a mistake while refining pills. But only incompetent desolate heaven masters would make such a stupid mistake. For highly skilled desolate heaven masters, even if they failed to refine a desolate bone relic, they would not cause an energy explosion. Luo Hoyer was of course not an incompetent desolate heaven master. Loss of energy control was absolutely humiliating for her. But now, other than failing to control the energy, how else could she explain it? Chapter 277, Heading into the Divine Wilderness 
Luo Horror could only suffer in silence. Seeing the group of girls look at her with concern, Luo Horror nearly flared up. Especially the damned kid mixed in the crowd. He too looked at her with concern and puzzlement in his eyes. Luo Horror found it unbearable to recall the experiences of the past few days. Everything was related to Yi Yun. Yi Yun was like a jinx in her life. Anytime she met him, she would become unlucky. President, you must be careful. Experts can have accidents too. Never be careless, because it would be terrible if you hurt yourself. A few of the Luohua Association members clearly believed that Luo Horror had lost control of the energy, which resulted in the explosion. Luo Horror was nearly dying from anger. With my abilities, would I make such a simple mistake? She still had not figured out why the energy trap did not trigger any Yen's hands, but the moment it came into hers, it exploded. And since the Lin Bone Gall exploded, the energy trap was gone. She had no way of investigating what went wrong. Could that kid have tampered with it? Luo Horror looked hatefully at Yun, but Yun's expression was a third puzzlement, a third confusion and a third concern. Besides that, there was nothing else that seemed odd. It can't be him. Luo Horror shook her head deep down. Yun had just come into contact with the desolate heaven technique. Even if he had extraordinary talent in energy control, it would be impossible for him to tamper with it in such a silent manner. It was after all, a trap she personally made. Luo Hoyer's clothes were all dirty and the foolish state she was in made her unwilling to stay here any longer. She just wanted to leave and take a bath. The desolate Heaven Master Society grounds did not have a place for washing up or changing clothes. Even though Luo Horror had brought clothes with her, there was no place for her to change. Returning to her own apartment was also a problem. Even if she used her fire elemental energy to dry the snake bile, it would still leave a big green stain on Luo Hoyer. For Luo Horror who treasured her face so much, she would rather die than be seen by others while wearing such stained clothes. Gritting her teeth, Luo Horror took out her clothes from her interspatial ring and wanted to wear them over her body. But her feminine clothes were slim in her upper body, while her lower body's skirt was wide. It would clearly look odd to wear another dress over her dirty one. Miss Luo, I have a fairly large piece of clothing here. I am not sure if you will dislike it. Ian took out his Jean Longway flying fish robe from his interspatial ring. When Ian came to the Taiya Divine City, he also brought along his flying fish robe. When he gained the interspatial ring, he naturally threw the flying fish robe into it. The lower hem of the flying fish robe was wide, and there was also a spare cape. Luo Huar actually wanted to reject it, but just as she was about to say no, she noticed that his flying fish robe's cape could cover her body all around from the collar. If she wore the cape and a belt, it could be used like a cloak. She could then completely cover her body so that nothing could be seen from the outside. She was indeed in extreme need of such a cape. Luo Huayer bit her lips and took the cape from Yi Yun. She did not need the flying fish robe as the cape alone was enough. Covering her body with the cape was perfect. The golden cape was embroidered with flying fish patterns, so it did not weird. In fact, it made Luo Huayer appear heroic. Thank you. Luo Huayer thanked Yi Yun slowly. She then left the desolate Heaven Master Society with Donger. She quickly walked back to her apartment in the central Divine Tower. On arrival she entered the bathroom and showered a few times, only then was she able to wash away the bitter smell. As for the clothes that had been stained by the bile, she threw them away as it was too difficult to wash the bile out of them. As for Eeyun's flying fish robe cape, it too had been stained with the bile. She wanted to throw it away as well. But upon further thought, she threw the cape at Donger and said, Wash the cape. Make sure to clean it properly. I'll return it to him tonight. All right, Donger obediently answered. Luo Horror went into a slight daze and remained silent for a while. She then murmured to herself, Donger, do you think I went a little too far? Ah? Uh. Donger went into a daze, Miss, what do you mean by too far? 
Nothing, Luo Horror shook her head. Donger did not know the various incidents she had with Yun. Donger took the cape and left Luo Hor looking out the window with a pensive look. Upon further thought, it was purely unintentional of Yun to see her body and hear her words. Yun also won teacher Yuewa's test because of his ability. Yun did nothing wrong, yet she wanted to seek revenge, leading her to reap what she had sown. Just now when she was soaked in bile, Yun did not gloat over her misfortune, he even offered her his cape, saving her from embarrassment. Upon thinking of this, Luo Horror felt somewhat guilty. She said to Donger, Donger, before you wash the cape, go to the 10,000 pagoda and exchange for a Lin Bongal. I'll give that to Yun too. Luo Horror had exploded Yun's Lin Bongal, so he naturally had no way of completing the energy extraction assignment. Buying a Lin Bongal to replace it was also a form of apology from Luo Huayer. That night, Yun heard a knock on his door. When he opened the door, he saw Luo Huayer standing in front of his door, holding a neatly folded cape. On the cape, there was also a Lin Bongal. Eh? Yun was slightly stunned. As he was about to say something, Luo Horror pushed the all the items into Yun's arms. For everything that happened today, thank you. The cape has been washed and I'm returning it to you. After Luo Huayer said that, she turned and left. She left Yi Yun behind in a daze. He looked at the cape in his hands. There were still traces of a fire elemental law on it. Clearly, after the cape had been washed, Luo Hor also used her fire elemental laws to dry the cape. Did I go too far? Yi Yun looked at Luo Hoyer's back and stroked his chin and shook his head. He and Luo Hor had both arrived at the same conclusion for the same matter. It was quite an interesting coincidence. Clouds moved as the sun rose and set. Life in the Tai A Divine City carried on. Every day, Yi Yun would be cultivating, and then cultivating some more. The Desolate Heaven Technique, Saber Truths, Truth of the Laws, 10,000 Beast Totem, Tai A Sacred Technique. There were too many things Yi Yun needed to cultivate, and every one of them was an extremely difficult path. Many warriors would never dare to touch things like the 10,000 beast totem or the saber truths 32 words even as human lords, what more merely being in the purple blood realm. Slowly, two months passed. Yi Yun had now spent half a year in the Tai A Divine City. In these two months, Yi Yun continued to solidify his foundation. His cultivation level had risen too quickly. He had used about half a year to go from the most basic first rank of mortal blood to the middle stages of purple blood. Cultivating too fast usually led to a shaky foundation. As such, Yi Yun took the time to make sure that his foundation would be strong. As Yi Yun walked out of the saber tomb once more, Song Yin came over. He knocked Yi Yun on the chest and said, Kid, why haven't you challenged the earth roll yet? In his opinion, Yi Yun had almost reached the top 1000 of the earth roll two months ago, so with two months passing by, Yi Yun should now have the ability to enter the top 1000. For a Tai A Divine City rookie to enter the top 1000 in his first year was incredible. If Yi Yun were to enter the top 1000 in half a year, he would shock the large factions till their eyeballs dropped out of their sockets. But Yi Yun lived in seclusion for the past two months. He only cultivated, making Song Yin feel slightly angry. Why was this kid not feeling any urgency? Yi Yun said, I have too many things to cultivate. I'll leave the earth roll on the back burner. Yi Yun really did not mind. His strength may have grown, but it had not grown by much. It would not be too late to challenge the earth roll when his strength increased by leaps and bound. Darn kid, can't you behave properly? Just walk slowly on the martial arts path. You have excellent talent. You just need to understand the saber truths and the Taya sacred technique well, get a good aspect totem mystic technique and your future would be boundless. Yet you want to learn the desolate heaven technique. With your talent, if you need resources, the divine kingdom will not leave you hanging. You do not need to earn them by yourself. Song Yen did not know what to say. 
Yi Yun learned too many things that were difficult. This made Son Yen worry for him. Yi Yun laughed and said, Thank you for the senior's concern. This junior is quite interested in the desolate heaven technique, so I will still carry on learning it. Yi Yun knew that the Divine Kingdom's royal family would groom him once he showed sufficient talent in the Tai A Divine Kingdom. But Yi Yun's goal was not the Tai A Divine Kingdom. In the future, he wanted to leave the kingdom and face an even wider world. When that happened, there might not be any factions that could support him. With an additional skill, he could have another way out. Do you still want to learn the 10,000 Beast Totem? Song Yan still wanted a Yun to return the Aspect Totem Mystic Technique. The 10,000 Beast Totem was a mystic technique that even a sage could not master. What could Yi Yun learn from it while he was in the Purple Blood Realm? Yes. Yi Yun nodded. You really do not intend to change? I can return the glory points from the 10,000 Beast Totem to you. San Yen patiently said. He had initially hoped that Yi Yun would give up after knowing the difficulty, he never expected that the kid would proceed on into the unknown. Yi Yun shook his head. Me coming to the Saber Tomb today is also for me to bid the senior farewell. I plan to go into the Divine Wilderness and begin condensing my aspect totem. Eon's two months of cultivation was the last pieces of preparation before he would embark on his Divine Wilderness expedition. Warriors who came to the Tai A Divine City for training would eventually enter the Divine Wilderness to kill desolate beasts. This was also the Tai A Divine City's most important and dangerous training. Many cultivators died during this training experience. Condense the aspect totem? San Yen was stunned. You are prepared to condense the 10,000 beast totem s aspect totem? Yes. I intend to try to, Yi Yun said calmly and firmly. He was finally going to enter the divine wilderness, an unknown and mysterious world. Authors note, the transition is difficult to write. We are entering the divine wilderness soon. I plan on tidying up my thoughts. Chapter 278 Traveling Alone in the Divine Wilderness To many Taiya Divine City cultivators, going out into the divine wilderness to hunt desolate beasts was a big deal. Their training expeditions would often last for about half a month. They had to make all sorts of preparation for the long periods outside. It was insufficient to just be strong if one planned to go out alone into the wilderness. One had to know all sorts of skills and survival knowledge to survive out in the wilderness. Before Ian left, he spent another 50,000 dragon scale runes to buy an interspatial ring with a larger capacity than the ones he got from the capital's four bully lords. Following that, Yi Yun used an entire day to buy various supplies. It included bone relics, medicine, life-protecting disc arrays, spare weapons, etc. Yi Yun also bought a detailed map of the Tai A Divine City's surroundings. He used some time to familiarize himself with the divine wilderness terrain and every desolate beast that he could encounter. By the end of the day, he understood the beast's strengths, weaknesses, habits. All this preparatory work had to be done perfect. Every year, 99% of the Tai A Divine City cultivators who died, died while training in the Divine Wilderness. As for those who died accidentally in arena battles, those were few and far between. Most of the time, the seemingly inconspicuous knowledge could save lives. Yi Yun had recently overheard that a small group of three cultivators died a few days ago. The reason was because they misidentified a heart-piercing snake as a golden line snake. Both snakes are entirely golden color, about two meters long, and have virtually no differences in their external appearance. But, a heart-piercing snake is more than ten times stronger than a golden line snake. It also has a fatal venom. Even an early-stage Yuan Foundation realm warrior will die in five seconds upon being bitten. The heart-piercing snake and the golden line snake cannot be distinguished through their appearances. The only difference between the two is in their behaviors. A golden line snake will meander sideways as it moves forward, creating a curved trajectory. As for the heart-piercing snake, it will move forward in a straight line. 
Many of the cultivators in the Taiya Divine City not only died because of their lack of strength, but also mainly because of their carelessness. Eun's current strength was not bad, but compared to the cultivators ranked ahead on the earth roll, he was still far worse. Even cultivators ranked ahead on the earth roll could die on their training expeditions, so Yi Yun had to be careful. Yi Yun did not team up and was going to train alone. As such, his training expeditions risk increased a lot. This day, the sky was clear and the sun was shining high up in the white cloud littered sky. Yi Yun brought all the items he had prepared and headed into the divine wilderness for training. Yi Yun had previously left the Tai A Divine City to go to Herb Mountain No. 60 for herb picking. Back then, Yi Yun used a teleportation array. But today, Yi Yun was using the main gate to leave the Tai A Divine City. When he reached the Tai A Divine City city gate, he looked down from a height of 10,000 meters at the expansive wilderness below him. The endless desolate lands connected with the sky, appearing both majestic and ancient. Water bucket sized black metal chains linked the jagged parts of the cliff to the plains tens of thousands meters below. It was a vast expanse of mist. This was the path that led from the Tai A Divine City into the Divine Wilderness. To defend against beast hordes, the Tai A Divine City's entrance was a natural barrier, allowing one man to hold back all enemies. Yi Yun took a deep breath and leaped up. He lightly landed on the chain. Then, Eun placed a stout rope over the chains and slid downwards with the help of gravity while holding onto the ends of the rope. Using a rope to go down from 10,000 meters was almost at the speed of a freefall. Eun could hear the howl of the wind by his ears as he saw the ancient desolate wilderness approaching him. The divine wilderness had existed for an unknown number of years. Deep in the divine wilderness, there were unknown numbers of secret treasures. Similarly, it also buried an unknown number of bones that belonged to past elites. But now, Yi Yun was going to use his own feet to explore this land. Boom! Yi Yun landed on the ground. Due to the extreme speed, when Yi Yun's feet landed on the ground, they stirred up a cloud of dust. The desolate lands in front of him was covered with sparse patches of grass. The plains were black in color with many exposed rocks. There were also many strong and tall ancient trees that went way into the distant horizon. Yi Yun locked onto a direction and began running. A typical warrior would choose an appropriate speed while running in the divine wilderness. One could not be too fast, not because of stamina, but because one might not be able to discover desolate beasts lurking in one's surroundings due to the fast speed. By not being vigilant enough, one could easily receive a surprise attack from desolate beasts. It was not uncommon in the history of the Tai A Divine Cities to have examples of cultivators who ran too fast, accidentally entering a desolate beast nest, resulting in their not even having a single piece of their corpses left. But one could not go too slow either. As the divine wilderness was too vast, being too slow would waste plenty of time. One could only explore a tiny area if one did, resulting in many missed opportunities. Ian first used a normal speed to cover tens of miles before he picked up his speed. At the same time, Yi Yun opened his purple crystal energy vision. In the energy vision, every embodiment of energy returned to its original fundamental state, leaving no way for them to hide. With the purple crystal, Yi Yun did not need to spend too much effort in being vigilant. There were not many desolate beasts that could be killed surrounding the Tai A Divine City. Strong desolate beasts were afraid of the Tai A Divine City's energy, so they would all flee far away. Yi Yun's destination was the meteorite abyss. Legend has it that tens of millions of years ago, a huge star, that burned with yang flames, fell from the sky, crashing into the divine wilderness. It broke up a mountain ridge that went on for tens of thousands of miles, creating a huge deep abyss. This deep abyss was the meteorite abyss. Back when the star landed, its young flames swept through the divine wilderness, burning countless numbers of strong desolate beasts to their deaths. If they were close to the center of the explosion, even primordial species would not survive. They too would instantly be turned to ashes. After tens of millions of years, 
the destruction left behind by the fallen star had already been restored. However, the meteorite abyss left behind by it was like a huge scar left on the divine wilderness. The star had merged with the meteorite abyss. Although the young flames that swept the divine wilderness had been extinguished, there were still rainbow young flames burning deep within the meteorite abyss. All the young chi in a radius of millions of miles was gathered here. Hence, there were a large number of pure yang elemental desolate beasts in the meteorite abyss. Eon's first attribute choice for cultivating the 10,000 beast totem was pure yang. Hence, the meteorite abyss was Eon's first destination. But, with Eon's current strength, he did not dare to venture deep into the meteorite abyss. He could only kill the desolate beasts in the exterior perimeter of the meteorite abyss to condense his aspect totem. Eon flew forward with the wind ringing in his ears. After crossing a large tract of the wilderness plains, he encountered grassland. The grass was about half the height of a person and was called frost star grass. The leaves of the frost star grass had cold frost dew formed over the years. This frost dew's temperature was below freezing points, yet it did not form into ice. If a mortal were to cross into the frost star grass grasslands, just a few steps would leave them frozen due to the frost dew. Yi Yun gathered Yuan Qi and circulated his body's Qi and blood, creating heat that emanated from his body. He then rushed into the frost star grass grassland. The glistening beads of dew reflected the dazzling sunlight. It made Yi Yun's body wet, but Yi Yun only felt some slight cold at his exterior, it did not affect his movements. With perfect movement techniques and the purple crystal's energy vision, Yi Yun traversed the complicated terrain like an eagle in the sky, and at times, like a lurking python. On the way, Yi Yun also encountered some desolate beasts. For example, the specter python that hid 10 meters underneath the wilderness plains, or a creeping three-spotted tiger on a hilltop. These were all detected by Yi Yun using the purple crystal's energy vision, allowing him to avoid them early. Yi Yun's goal in this expedition was clear. It was to kill pure yang desolate beasts, absorb their bodies' pure yang power and blood, and condense an aspect totem. Unless there were very valuable desolate beasts along the way, Yi Yun would not stop. The meteorite abyss was very far away. Yi Yun managed to cautiously and stealthily make his way. Only when the dying sun was swallowed by the horizon and the star constellations in the sky began to appear, did Yi Yun have to stop? He had come to a barren plain. The night breeze blew, causing pebbles to roll as it constantly shattered the quietness of the night. Nighttime in the divine wilderness was even more dangerous. Yi Yun had to use sleep or meditation to maintain his stamina. Yi Yun used the thousand army saber and quickly dug a pit that he could sleep in. He carefully laid soft hay, suitable for sleeping, in the pit. Although warriors are physically strong, the desolate land's frost star grass's cold dew was biting to the bone. It was inevitable for some of it to enter a warrior's body, creating a bit of unnecessary damage to his chi and blood. Yi Yun dug a few traps around the pit and placed triangular disc arrays within them. Each disc array was about the size of a fist, containing a weak explosive energy within it. This was a necessity that many Taiya Divine City warriors would bring along when they went into the Divine Wilderness for a training expedition, the Ignition Disc Array. This Ignition Disc Array could not kill desolate beasts, but it could be used as a warning. After all, warriors would still lose some perception of the surrounding environment when they slept or meditated. On the other hand, there were also some desolate beasts who would be skilled in concealment. Many cultivators would often die while sleeping or meditating due to these surprise attacks. Sleeping and meditation was indispensable. If one was high-strung and vigilant of one's surroundings for a long time, one would end up becoming mentally exhausted even without being attacked by desolate beasts, greatly reducing their combat strength. Hence, most of the time, these affordable ignition disc array had the miraculous use of saving lives. After setting up the ignition disc array, Yi Yun took out a cloth bag from his interspatial ring. He then spread all the powder within the cloth bag. This was the powdered feces of king-ranked desolate beasts. 
This powder would emit a special smell that only desolate beasts could detect. This would make other desolate beasts mistake this area as the territory of a king-ranked desolate beast, hence they would avoid entering. With two levels of protection set up, Eun wore a fine scale armor, his thousand army saber by his waist, the tight song bow behind his back and entered the pit. To not separate from their weapon was a habit warriors had to have when they were out hunting desolate beasts. The moment there was any commotion, they could quickly enter a combative state. There were all sorts of dangers in the divine wilderness. One had to be careful with everything. But even with all of this set up, it was impossible to guarantee that nothing would go wrong. Chapter 279, Thousand Feet Black Silkworm Translator, C. Tallinn Editor, C. Tallinn Deep in the silent night, the cold wind blew, which covered everything with icy dew. Ian suddenly woke up from his deep sleep. A natural instinct for danger suddenly arose in his mind. Eun immediately opened his energy vision and found a furry desolate beast that was slowly moving like a ball. This desolate beast had a pair of black round eyes and its body was covered with numerous small tentacles. These tentacles would rub against the ground, but strangely it did not emit a single sound. Not only that, the beast's presence was extremely well concealed. There was not a single sign that it was present. As it moved forward, corrosive liquids flowed out from its pores. Everywhere it went, a trail corroded by this liquid was left behind on the ground. This corrosive liquid also slowly seeped into the soil. She, she, she. The explosive disc Arezi Yun had set up previously gave off soft sounds that were nearly inaudible. Due to the corrosive liquid that had seeped into the ground, the disc arrays were corroded just before they could initialize. Eun's muscles tensed up and the purple crystal within his body swelled up with light. This desolate beast was a thousand feet black silkworm. Eun had previously read in the Divine Wilderness book that the thousand feet black silkworm was a desolate beast that was extremely difficult to handle. It liked to ambush its prey at night and it had an obtuse temperament. It completely ignored the feces of king-ranked desolate beasts. As the liquid that flowed out from its body could corrode the ignition disc array, it could catch many cultivators by surprise. Hence, it was also the nemesis of many cultivators that traveled alone. The thousand feet black silkworm's body hair was needle-like. They could be shot out, and due to the toxic bodily fluids within it, a warrior would die just touching a tiny bit of the corrosive liquid. That was the thousand feet black silkworm's most powerful move. When it shot out all its body's arsenal like arrows, it was almost impossible to evade. A typical cultivator would often hide to avoid fighting it to the death if they met a thousand feet black silkworm. Before Yi Yun came into the divine wilderness, he had made ample preparations. The thousand feet black silkworm's weakness was its speed. To deal with it, he had to first open up a gap from it and attack it from far. It was equivalent to committing suicide trying to attempt melee combat with a desolate beast that was full of toxins and that had spikes that were as solid as steel. With the tight sung bow in hand, Ian suddenly burst up from the pit. Pying. Rocks and soil were sent flying. The sudden explosion stopped the thousand feet black silkworm in its tracks for a while. At that moment, Yi Yun had flown more than a hundred feet backward. While he was in the air, he pulled the tight sun bow to its fullest. Yi Yun's Yuan Shi rapidly condensed and surged into the black arrowhead. The cold beam of the wind chasing arrow flashed in the night. Phew! Yi Yun's arrow flew and its light beam cut through the night sky. In the arrowhead of the wind chasing arrow that Yi Yun had shot, there was an explosive array within it. This arrow hit the thousand feet black silkworm at lightning speed. Boom! With a loud blast, the explosive array exploded. The thousand feet black silkworm let out a shrill and a large amount of bodily fluids splashed out. Black blood covered the surround grass. With a dull chi 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 sound, the toxic blood bore holes into the ground wherever it landed. At the same moment the thousand feet black silkworm was suffering, Ian's eyes locked on the thousand feet black silkworm with hawk-like eyes. 
He flexed his arms as he continuously shot arrows. Pying. 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 The bowstring emitted a sounds like muffled thunder as the sharp arrows cut through the air, leaving a visible Yuan Chi trace in its wake. In the darkness, these arrows came raining down like a meteor shower, with the ability to tear everything apart. They rained on the wound that the thousand feet black silkworm had been inflicted with by the explosive arrow. Whoosh! 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 The few arrows pierced through the thousand feet black silkworm's wound and entered its soft flesh. The arrowheads tore the weak stomach of the thousand feet black silkworm apart till the flesh was completely penetrated through before sticking heavily to the ground. The thousand feet black silkworm made an earth shattering scream and all its muscles contracted, sending out all its bristles out. Usually the thousand feet black silkworm would only shoot out about tens of spikes for hunting prey, but now as it was threatened with death, the thousand feet black silkworm shot out all its bristles, and they fell in a dense downpour. It was really an attack that was all encompassing. Cultivators who fought against thousand feet black silkworms easily died under this desperate attack as there was no way to dodge. Yi Yun had anticipated that the thousand feet black silkworm would make a desperate attempt to counter at all costs. With his foot stepping on the ground, the ground beneath him exploded. Yi Yun's body seemed to be carried up by a strong wind as he charged towards the thousand feet black silkworm's wing on its side. Whoosh! 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 Countless number of bristle needles flew and scraped past Ian's body, but he had dodged all of them. Ian's current position was where there was a sparse amount of bristle needles because this was where the thousand feet black silkworm's wound was. Ian's attack had blown up a large portion of the thousand feet black silkworm's flesh, leaving a few bristles left. Also, as much of the flesh had been damaged, the bristles could not be shot out. This was the only flaw in the thousand feet black silkworm's all encompassing attack. Yi Yun had already calculated beforehand because he would have found it hard to deal with the thousand feet black silkworm's desperate attack. He had created this flaw for him to seek shelter. Seeing the ineffectiveness its last attack, the thousand feet black silkworm was in a panic. It had shot out all its bristle needles from its body. Its combat power had been greatly reduced in a short period of time. It gathered the toxins within its body, hoping to spew it on Yi Yun to corrode his body, but at that moment, Yi Yun had stepped forward, and with a flash of his body, he had appeared right in front of the thousand feet black silkworm. Cha! The thousand army saber was unsheathed and it sounded out. With a flash of the blade's beam, it cut through the thousand feet black silkworm's head. Before the thousand feet black silkworm could spit out its toxins, the huge Yuan Chi that had been condensed in the thousand army saber exploded its head. The shrills that the thousand feet black silkworm was making seemed like its throat had been pressed as the sounds came to a stop. Its body twitched vigorously a few times before collapsing to the ground. Yi Yun's entire attack process had been done in one fell swoop. He did not give the thousand feet black silkworm any respite. Seeing that the thousand feet black silkworm was already dead, Yi Yun recalled the heart sutras of the myriad beast totem. To condense an aspect totem, one had to first condense a beast mark from a desolate beast's corpse. A beast mark was the condensation of a recently killed desolate beast's life essence and power of desolates. Under normal circumstances, a desolate beast's life essence and power of desolates would slowly dissipate into the surroundings after it was killed. The energy within the blood and flesh would dissipate the fastest while the energy within the bones dissipated slowly. It could then be used by desolate heaven masters to refine desolate bone relics. Warriors who were not desolate heaven masters had great difficulty in using this energy. Of course, after a warrior cultivated a totem mystic technique, he could usually borrow the worldly laws to a certain extent. They could make the desolate beast's life essence and power of desolate synergize with their own murderous chi by slowly extracting that energy. A warrior's murderous chi could form such synergy only with the desolate beasts killed by the warrior himself. By using the totem mystic technique, these separated energies would slowly form a light blob, and this light blob would have the imprint of the dead desolate beast within it. This was the beast mark. 
Actually, if a warrior were to use a totem mystic technique to condense a beast mark, he would only be able to obtain a tiny portion of the desolate beast's energy. Hence, even if the beast mark was extracted, this kind of dead desolate beast could still be exchanged for dragon scale runes. Using the desolate bones from such a desolate beast to refine a relic would not have too bad an effect. It was not easy to condense a beast mark. Many warriors had to kill many desolate beasts to be able to barely condense a beast mark, and the quality left much to be desired. If the quality of the beast mark was low, the aspect totem that was eventually condensed would also have limited powers. To successfully condense an aspect totem, many cultivators would try to choose the totem mystic techniques that were easier to learn. It could be said that the quality of the beast seal condensed depended on the totem mystic technique's grade. But a high-grade totem mystic technique was impossible to learn. The beast mark condensed from killing dozens of desolate beasts was of questionable quality, so no matter how high-grade the totem mystic technique was, it was still pointless. For example, the myriad beast totem Iyun was learning was a high-grade mystic technique. Even the sages of the Tai A Divine City could only read through the myriad beast totem to ponder over its wondrous meaning. They would not learn a mystic technique that no one could master. Standing in front of the thousand feet black silkworm, Iyun closed his eyes and thought deeply for a while as he sank his spiritual energy into the purple crystal. The purple crystal, which was located in Iyun's heart, emitted a strange glow. Iyun felt like a whirlpool had appeared in his body and that the murderous cheat that he generated from killing the thousand feet black silkworm spread all over the whirlpool as it let out a light groan. A large amount of life essence and power of desolates within the 10,000 black silkworm were sucked by this whirlpool and surged towards it. Hum hum hum. The energy created violent tremors in midair before finally condensing into a beast mark the size of a fist. This beast mark emitted a reddish gold light. Within it, there was a phantom image of a baby silkworm. With a thought, this beast mark flew into Ian's body. So, the beast mark's energy entered all of Iyun's limbs and bones. An indescribable feeling transmitted throughout Iyun's body. Although he had plenty of experience absorbing the essences of desolate beasts, none of them were similar to today's experience. It made Iyun's pores open up, as if his entire body's soul and flesh had elevated to a new level. So this is the process of condensing an aspect totem. Ian felt as if his entire body was free of inhibitions. Every inch of his bones, blood, meridians were being nourished by the desolate beast's essence, as it went through a silent metamorphosis. Ian's body was surging with life force, and it rising like a growing seedling. After about a dozen seconds, only when the beast mark's energy was finally fully absorbed by Ian did he open his eyes. It was so comfortable. Iyun did not know what it was like when others condensed an aspect totem or what it was like to extract a beast mark from a desolate beast's corpse. Would it be any difference from his using of the purple crystal to extract a beast mark? But there was no time to ponder over this. According to the records in the Divine Wilderness book, once a thousand feet black silkworm died, it would emit a special smell to inform nearby thousand feet black silkworm to gather here. Soon, more than 10,000 feet black silkworms would gather in this place. There might even be a possibility of a thousand feet black silkworm king appearing, and that was something Iyun was unable to deal with. He had to leave this place immediately. Chapter 280, Mysterious Youth Iyun retrieved the silk within the thousand feet black silkworm and a portion of its toxins as quickly as possible. After that he removed a few of its metallic teeth, stored them in his interspatial ring and used his movement technique to run deep into the wilderness. Storage was a big problem for cultivators who went into the divine wilderness for training. One would only remove the most valuable parts of a typical large desolate beast, if not, the interspatial rings would quickly fill up. While he was running, Iyun opened up his purple crystal's energy vision again. The surrounding power of desolates appeared like waves as they rippled around. Iyun soon noticed energy light dots appearing in the distant desolate lands. One, two, three. Each of these energy light dots were naturally a thousand feet black silkworm. 
Yi Yun quickly changed directions, avoiding the group of thousand feet black silkworms as he ran deeper into the wilderness. Before the thousand feet black silkworm appeared, Yi Yun had already slept for four hours. This was already enough for him. Although the nights in the vast wilderness were dangerous, Yi Yun had the purple crystal's energy vision to lead him, hence he could preemptively avoid any dangers. While in the process of running at a fast speed, Yi Yun also started to feel out the aspect totem that was slowly condensing inside his body. Just killing 1,000 feet black silkworm was insufficient to condense an aspect totem. However, Yi Yun could already feel it germinating. A typical warrior's aspect totem would usually be determined once it appeared, but the 10,000 beast totem aspect totem's appearance would be different from the desolate beasts that were used for it. It could have a variety of bizarre changes. From its embryonic form to its formative state, and finally its complete form, it could go through mutations and evolve. It was unknown what it would be like when an aspect totem mutated. Ian was looking forward to it, but he knew that in his current state, he was still far from being able to mutate his aspect totem. He had only taken the first step in his long march. In the darkness of the endless wilderness, Yi Yun ran for an unknown amount of time. He encountered some desolate beasts lurking in the dark, but avoided them in advance. When the first ray of dawn broke through the darkness, the distant land was covered in a mist. This mist constantly changed as it emitted a terrible smell. It was miasma. Following that, Yi Yun heard the sound of bubbles popping. A dark and endless swamp appeared before Yi Yun. The light mist shrouded the mud. Reaching here, the pungent stench in the air had now reached an extreme. It's the Blackwater Swamp. Yi Yun recalled the record in the Divine Wilderness book. The Blackwater Swamp's rotting mud and miasma were toxic, and the deeper one went, the greater the toxicity became. Especially the black mud in the swamp, which was similar to the thousand feet black silkworm's bodily fluids, it was corrosive. In principle, such a toxic swamp should not have any living organisms, but the weird thing was that there were actually fresh aquatic plants growing in the swamp. These aquatic plants bloomed beautiful and coquettish flowers, creating a stark contrast with the surrounding rotting, black mud. Ian knew that these beautiful and coquettish flowers were named blood corpse flowers. They used corpses as nourishment and like the miasma. The blood corpse flower was also toxic. In this situation, Yi Yun could use Yuan Qi to envelop his body, allowing him to withstand the corrosive nature of the mud, but over time, his Yuan Qi would also rapidly deplete. The Blackwater Swamp also stretched into the distance. Yi Yun estimated that he would need at least a day and a night of walking to cross the swamp. But in this toxic mud, Yi Yun estimated he could not last more than two hours. Besides, there also existed a few desolate beasts, like the Blackwater Ancient Crocodiles, in Blackwater Swamp. If he met one, he would be in trouble. Do I have to make a detour? Yi Yun slightly frowned. If he had to make a detour, he would have to travel a long distance before reaching Meteorite Abyss. With the occasional desolate beast encounters, the journey would then take him at least ten days. As Yi Yun was thinking over it, he suddenly saw something. That is. Yi Yun looked incredulously into the distance. There, in the thin miasma, a youth in green was riding a green cow, walking over slowly. The green cow's feet made apparent steps above the swamp, but none of the mud stained them. On the cow's back was a youth holding a piccolo. He wore a bamboo hat and played a melodious tune, affecting the wind in the swamp. Stock after stock of blood corpse flowers swayed in the wind. The toxic swamp which was fraught with dangers suddenly transformed into a sanctuary that radiated the brightness and charm of spring. Even the beautiful and coquettish blood corpse flowers seemed to soften up. Yi Yun was shocked. A green shirt, a green cow and a piccolo. This scene of a youth, dressed like a shepherd, left a great visual impact with his sudden appearance in the Blackwater Swamp. This youth looked completely out of place in this endless divine wilderness. He is. Yi Yun looked at the green cow riding youth in green approach. 
He touched the hilt of his thousand army saber as he circulated his body's Yuan Qi. He could not tell the youth's level. He felt like that person was a completely normal person. Even after checking with the purple crystal's vision, the youth did not seem to have immense amounts of energy within him. The only thing different with him was that his body had a colorful life force within it that was both luscious and beautiful. When the youth saw Yi Yun, he separated the piccolo from his mouth and smiled at Yi Yun, hi. The youth's voice made people feel as if they were showering in a spring breeze. Yi Yun did not lower his guard and nodded slightly as a form of reciprocation. Are you, a cultivator from the divine wilderness? Yi Yun instinctively felt the powerfulness of the youth. But the youth only looked to be about 16 years old. It was hard to imagine that there was such a proud son of heaven. Cultivator? The youth was slightly taken aback before he laughed. He shook his head gently, no, I'm not. I'm just a tourist, just passing through the divine wilderness. Tourist? Passing through the divine wilderness. Yi Yun was alarmed. From the direction from which the youth came, he had most likely crossed the Blackwater Swamp. The Blackwater Swamp was extremely toxic, yet he could cross through it without flinching. However, this was not what made Yi Yun most alarmed. He was alarmed because the direction the youth was heading in was clearly towards the Tai A Divine Kingdom. And from the northern parts he came from, that was an uninhabited place. Further north of the divine wilderness was the endless desolate lands. There were numerous strong desolate beasts dormant there. Even when human sages encountered many of those desolate beasts, they had to flee. This youth actually said he was just passing through the divine wilderness. If he really came from the north, then from exactly where did he come from? It could not be the other end of the divine wilderness, right? Although Yun's mind was chaotic, he still appeared calm on the surface. He did not say another word. This mysterious youth belonged to a world different from the present him. Or maybe, he was not even a youth. Well, you are very interesting. The youth looked at Yun and chuckled. We will probably meet again. After saying that, he continued to ride his green cow and passed Yun. The melodious sounds from the piccolo started playing once again. The cheerful tune seemed to turn into reality. It flew into the blue sky that was littered with white clouds in an unrestrained manner. The carrion birds in the sky were also attracted to the tune and began dancing in the air not far from the youth. Far away in the swamp, a strange-looking toxic fish leapt out of the water and blew a bubble. It looked extremely happy. These life forms that created fear and loathsomeness in people now seemed to turn into happy spirits. This scene left a deep impression on Yi Yun. Yi Yun watched on as the youth disappeared from view. He felt that the youth's piccolo tune had a magical power that could control the thoughts of desolate beasts. When the youth crossed the Blackwater Swamp, it was as if he was strolling through a garden. He was an obvious target, yet the desolate beasts could not detect him, but, Maybe it was that strange tune which prevented him from being attacked. This youth sure is weird. He has the ability to control desolate beasts. What is he doing heading to the Tai A Divine Kingdom? Yi Yun muttered. The path of martial arts had all sorts of strange things. It was no wonder for a person to have the ability to control beasts. As for why the youth was heading towards the Tai A Divine Kingdom, or if he was just passing through the Tai A Divine Kingdom, Yi Yun could not be bothered to think about it. He was most concerned about how he was to cross the Blackwater Swamp. It was too far to take a detour. Yi Yun followed the edge of the swamp and after proceeding for about 15 minutes, he suddenly stopped. Oh! In his energy vision, a mass of black energy was lurking underground. Gulu, Gulu. Deep in the misty swamp, there was suddenly a hint of unusual movement. The mud tossed as a large mud bubble blew up. A dark silhouette appeared in the midst of the mist.